Uh, Richie should be here in just a second, guys. Hopefully he, he makes it here soon. Uh, but uh, welcome to the live stream. Let me pause this and break this down. <laughs> He's killing this. He's absolutely <laughs> killing this. What's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston, and I am in Louisiana. I want to make sure that, yeah, okay, okay, don't spread rumors. Why is that coming? Hold up, we're having technical issues. Is that, can you pause that? It's not pausing. Can you kill, you the, kill the volume? There we go. How about that? Kill the volume. There you go. There we go. All right, are we good to go? Are you guys hearing us good? Everybody's five by five on the Big Sip channel on RFB. We're straight. Everybody's hearing it. We're hearing it. We're hearing it. Is this from Thailand? I saw it. I saw Thailand on there. Nice, nice, nice. Brandon and I both have red faces because we were out on the bayou literally hunting alligators. And that's all we're going to say about that right now. But it's a true story. Brandon can wheel a bayou boat. Shoot him. Shoot him. Yeah, that's real, man. Five by five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Um, everybody in your channel's got it. We're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Good to go. We're good. All right. All right. We're good. All right. I've never done a live stream in Louisiana. That doesn't even make any sense, but whatever. <laughs> so how do you like them? Apples? Internet Are works a little good? bit. What's We're... going on here? What? what do you mean? I got it. It says it's don't play it. No, no, no. It's muted. It's muted. You're good. Catch up. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. We're good. Okay. Listen to this. I didn't bother to check the map. And on my way to Louisiana, I ended up seeing two separate sets of subscribers. One in Indiana. Because I'm like, yeah, Indiana, I can swing right through there. It's no big deal. Well, it turns out that Indiana is exactly 900 miles to the west. And then it's 900 miles straight down. But whatever. I met up with Connie and Miguel. Connie has been following my YouTube channel for eight years. Connie talks a lot like I do, which is strange. Connie homeschools her kids. And these guys are being, they're getting, getting ready because things are actually starting to happen. And if you didn't hear this, turns out we have a new moon. Yeah, we got a new moon. We've been looking at it for two days. But it's only the size of a car, so don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, that's cool. What, what, do you, what do you think the powers that be think about the people they're talking to when they say that we have a new tiny moon that's the size of a car? Well, they think that we're just going to instantly take it in. And as soon as they uh, put the official word out there, there's absolutely no reason ever again to investigate this new moon, don't look at it. We've, we've already figured everything out. It's just the same thing over and over again. What they do to children, uh, their soft uh, flat brains in their head when they get to school, we've already found everything. We've already figured everything out. You come from a monkey fish frog. Same thing again. Monkey fish frog. <laughs> they're going to tell you, they're going to let us know right now that uh, the new moon has been identified. And don't worry, it's just a new moon. What, what I mean, why would you ever look up at the sun, moon, and the stars and try to recognize what the signs are saying to us? I find it really strange that for the last several months, Brandon, myself, I'm probably guessing other YouTube channels, but tons of you guys have been sending me videos of, well, this. Because I just took this video just now. And I mean, just right now of what appears to be a star that never, ever moves. There's the moon up in the sky. Is that showing up? Yes. And then there's what appears to be a tiny new moon. Well, we got the P9000 on it, and Brandon stood right by me as we did this. Takes me a minute. Takes me a minute. There's the moon, okay? And I'm not zoomed all the way in, but I just wanted to do this so you could see where in relation that this new tiny moon or whatever this object in the sky is. But I find it strange that we're all talking about this unknown object in the sky and suddenly NASA finds a small car-sized tiny moon. If there's a moon that's the size of a car, that's not a moon. It's a rock or an asteroid or a meteor or something like that. But for whatever reason, they've decided to label it a new tiny moon. Nothing to see here, folks. Folks, move along. Well, let me zoom in on that tiny moon. Let's take a look at the tiny moon. 
Braden stood right there watching. The Nikon is on a tripod. It is not moving. Watch this. This thing, whatever it is, is quite alive. Now, the, it jumping up and down, that is me adjusting the tripod, but it's pulsating. This, that's all it. Yeah. And I'm going to zoom in. You saw it. What did you yeah. see? No, it's alive. It's It, it looks like somatics to me. It looks like a frequency within water, or uh, but it, it's also it, it's pulsating. So uh, it looks like a, a sand dollar. Uh, it looks like it almost at certain points. It also looked like the flower of life. To right. Me. Uh, and so we we had check that out real quick. Right where the little notch is on it. Remember, I pointed it out. That's right. Look at the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not giving off light right there. I just right. noticed that first time. Remember and, at the bottom? It looks like a sand dollar with a little cutout. That's the one spot it's not giving off light. So it's emulating light straight up. We know that now. Yeah. And you can see this. You can see this with the naked eye. Well, because we have uh, for the first two days and probably the last month and a half, there it is, uh, for the last month and a half, we've had the clearest skies that I can remember uh, since probably October or November. There's, There's the that cut out down right down at 5 o'clock. Yeah. There's a notch, and it's not giving light up when you show I, that's. I never saw that. So that's that that's it it's seven sided eight points but it's it's it looks exactly like somatics and th once you focus in on this this star it acts like it doesn't want to be it's the weirdest thing i've ever seen it it acts like it doesn't want to be uh taken um, and now you see i've said that so many times i try to videotape these things and it's like they don't want to be videotaped you saw what i meant right yeah, no, you're not touching any controls. You're not focusing, not doing anything, and all of a sudden it'll expand, so you can't get a picture of it. No, but that's it. And we've been watching it. We watched it uh, two two nights in a row, uh, and now, of course, this is the 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 answer uh, is that it's a new moon. Uh, well, uh, folks, that's that's just crazy uh, that it's even there. Uh, but the excuse is even weirder. Oh, Hoop D, why would you say that? You guys look so cute. That's so gay. You guys look so cute. Yeah, that was what we, that's what we were. That's what we're going for. That's what the look we were going for. Like, Brandon, how can we look really cute when we do this live stream? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you look so cute. At any rate, this thing, yeah, everybody's got a video of it. The problem is, like I just showed in this video, like I just saw this for the first time because I just videotaped it. I'm looking at it on a little tiny screen. If you don't have a Nikon P1000, don't get one. Get a P900 or the P950. The Nikon P950, I'm told, is way better than the P1000. The P1000 is big. It has a terrible center of balance. And somebody showed up to Nikon and said, hey, guys. Thanks for making that P900, you know, the flat earth camera. We love it. Stop making it. Make the P1000 suck because it does. It costs more. It It's heavy. It's big. And it doesn't focus well at all. Brandon and I went to uh, the reason that Louisiana is there's so many flat bridges. Dead nuts, completely, totally flat. No curvature of the earth. None of that stuff. We tried to get video yesterday. It was cold and windy, and it didn't come out really well. But I'm going to try again before I roll out. But at any rate, um, do you want to uh, – this is going to make people mad. What, what, are you talk what about? were we talking about this morning? The, remember the pages you showed me in the Bible? Oh, yeah, we can talk about that. Do you want to or no? Uh, well, I would like to first get done with the study tomorrow. All right, then, then, then do that. That's what I want to make sure it's laid up. It's uh okay, I see that not getting answered. What does that mean? No, it's not a star, dude. It's not a star, it's a pulsating object, man. I mean, look at this thing. I'm not touching the camera and it's just sitting there like it's got a heartbeat. Well, you know, I try to logically deduce <clears throat> what's going on, the ability of them to maybe uh pump a frequency and excite the uh water in, into the atmosphere. But here's the problem, right? I live in Louisiana. Richie lives lives all the way up in Massachusetts. And I we've talked at the same, like, Brandon, are you looking at it right now? And I'm, and, right. I, and so is an I. That's right. And so many of you guys have done it by the same, so, same one. So in order for them to have that type of uh, frequency, that, that would be, it, 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 it's just un unfathomable, not saying it's not possible, 
uh, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be mind blown. But this is this looks like somatics is what it looks like. Uh, and of course, that's what that's what the world's made out of. Frequency is life. Uh, and we start getting into wave light and everything else. But uh, you can see the waves going across this thing. It, it's just amazing. Uh, you can never you can see this like you can see it in this. <clears throat> I'll post this video up raw afterwards so you can watch it yourself in better definition. But you can see the cymatic waves going across this. You can see the circle in the center. You can see this thing pulsating, moving. And then every once in a while down here, a little notch shows up. And as we saw in the beginning, that little notch piece isn't giving out any light. Right, right there. Yeah. So it's really crazy. I don't know what it is. I find it strange that everybody on the internet that's heavily monitored is talking about this. And then suddenly... There's a tiny moon the size of a car. Yeah, one of our commenters said it too. And, you know, me and Richie <clears throat> talked about this. I, I agree too. It looks like a single cell, right? It does. It has that look like it would be a, a cell under a microscope, a microscope. So, yes, it has those looks, but you, want, you have to try to logically uh, deduce what is going on. And uh, there's, as far as I can do, as far as I can tell, there's no logical explanation of them producing that that type of effect all across the world. Now, now two, three, four. It's seven sided. Seven sided. Seven sided. Somebody just asked. Go ahead, Brandon. My bad. Yeah. So you 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 watch this, and when before Rich even got here, I told him when you walk out in the backyard, you look directly up off the dock, and you look a little bit to the right, and that's where it is every night. And that was before uh, dark uh, set in. It's there every night. And I've noticed it for the last, I don't know, we've been talking about it four or five months now. Yep. Everybody, um, I mean, I've got it. You guys have sent me a ridiculous amount of emails, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody just said Ezekiel's wheel. I've got a different video that it looks exactly like a spoked wheel. This one does not. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it crazy that, I just find it crazy that, what's up, Wendy? I find it crazy that suddenly they're coming out with a brand new blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's a moon the size of a car. If there was a rock in the sky, if that was possible, the size of a car, that would be a meteor or something small because they've already told us they're going to land and harvest and mine on meteors that are, you know, the size of Texas. Well, how come those aren't moons? Do you see what I'm saying? I just find it really strange that all of us are talking about this. We're all trying to figure out what this is. Everyone's sharing information. Well, they see that. And this is their answer, I believe. But speaking of that, check this out real quick. Now, remember, I'm not at my house, so this is a little wonky for us. But check out this video. Let me screen share this. I'm effing this up. See, I can F this up anywhere. I can F it up in Boston. I can F it up in Louisiana. Maybe I'll swing by your house and F it up there, too. Who knows? But here's a story that popped up today in the Wall Street Journal with 1.99 million subscribers. That's ridiculous. This is from September 11th. My bad, 2019. Shocking that the Wall Street Journal would put it out. But the story's talking about, luckily, NASA accidentally threw away the guidance system to a, the Apollo 11 space module. And fortunately, this guy that dives through dumpsters also knows how to fix guidance systems for NASA rockets, and he fixed it. This is them trying to stay relevant. Star Wars. You know what I mean? <laughs> trying to stay relevant. It's absolutely laughable and ridiculous that this, this one particular dumpster diver happened to get by NASA security, because I'm sure NASA just has old round garbage barrels out front of their building and anybody can walk through and go through them. No big anybody. deal. And I mean, of course you're going to throw away the loot, the landing module from the, uh, all right. Hey, rabbit burn. Check this out. Next one's blocked. Maybe you're new here. Um, NASA has security and believe it or not, NASA has enough ex Nazi soldiers working there that are really good at organizing. They wouldn't have thrown away this thing. This whole story is nonsense, and the fact that they're putting it up again is just to make sure everybody remembers that they landed on the moon. <laughs> but I don't believe that because you can't land on the moon because it's a light. You can't get anywhere close to NASA. Come on, without. that's like doing a it's like doing a ritual out in front of CERN. Yeah, pretending or killing somebody in front of Shiva at three in the morning. Oh, oh it was just it's a nuclear research facility, according to them. 
but people just snuck in there. And if you don't know, that's how my channel blew up is when CERN had to actually respond to my constant badgering of them going, dude, you're doing a ritual in front of Shiva at three o'clock in the morning with nine dudes wearing black hoods, stabbing a lady on the ground. It isn't, oh, you know, it was scientists blowing off steam. And that's all there is to it. So there's that. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's just, it just goes to show you that, and, and it, this ties into what we were talking about earlier, the conversations that we've had, right? All they have to do is give you an explanation. And we're so do docile and so domesticated that we just accept it for what it is. Okay, well, I don't ever have to think again. Let me turn off my own mind and go back to the hamster wheel. This is not how uh, men and women are supposed to be living in this way. Uh, and, and But it, it's it's the reality that we've accepted. And uh, it, the Matrix movie is just so eerie in how it operates. Um, not very many want to want to see with their own eyes. And, uh, and not just, let me say that, not just see, but observe. Actually observe reality for what it is instead of what you've been told it is. Well, explain that for the people that don't. No audio, no video tech. Light is going on. Some blah, blah. Explain that for people that don't. What's the, We were talking about this this morning, having coffee. Seeing something on TV and seeing something in real. I've seen alligators on television shows in Louisiana bayous on TV. I saw them. Today, I observed them. That's right. That's I was right. in the bayou in a boat with a real Louisiana dude, and we found gators. Lots of them. And it was actually warm up. Yeah. But explain what you were telling me of the difference between seeing something and observing and how they're using it against us so, so effectively. Well, see, so when we just see something, it bypasses our conscious mind and, and dumps straight into the subconscious. Whether we whether we realize it or not, everything that we do in, in the study group that I do here is to learn how to control our conscious mind at all times. Well, when you observe something, you actually take in all the details. Uh, for example, when I when I when I see read a newspaper or a news article, I don't just blow through it. I actually read the words there and and, and find the lie within the words because they've always been there. Or when I see a false flag mega shooting, uh, the first, or anybody does, you observe it. Just uh, you observe it instead of just taking it for granted. Uh, and seeing what they want you to see, uh, the devil is always in the details, and that's why we don't pay attention to the details anymore. Hey, there's 2,000 plus people watching. You could hit that thumbs up button. Just saying. Let's see if maybe we can possibly share that. Oh, oh, listen to this guy. He thinks it's a joke. Wrestle that gator like Steve Irvin. How many times did I say, dude, shake it up and yeah, catch it? You did. <laughs> Got to videotape it. I'll do that, man. I have no problem with that. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. I just don't want to damage them. <laughs> I was psyched to see so many cattle egrets, so many. Oh, we saw a ton of vultures eating. So, dude, we went through this canal. We we're on a boat by ourselves in the middle of the bayou. You're alone. <laughs> we're cruising through, and it's like, dude, what is that? Hey, somebody crucified a monster werewolf thing. They did. Oh, it's just kids. Well, I'll tell you what. It's kids that were very ambitious because it takes a lot of effort to get out. Gators, whatnot, so forth, so on. Mud, muck. Put the boat up. They brought wood to hang it on. They hung it up. And then we're cruising down the canal. And then there's another one. But this one's surrounded by, what, 60, 70 monstrous turkey vultures that were chowing on something. But it was cool to see all the wildlife. I love this stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. So tomorrow we're going to do a little bit of fishing. And um, yeah, I don't know who you are, Tim Butler, but now nobody does. So go change your name and come back and troll. If I vape, I'm vape, vaping food grade vape juice. So <laughs> shut the F up. Okay. Richie's good. Yeah. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Uh, now we couldn't find a dead guy. Did uh, we find it? No, guy? we didn't. Hey, hey, truth, truth within us. If I if I miss something that you sent, I've had a, a very very busy busy week this week, and then Richie showed up Thursday, uh, so I've tried to fit everything I, I possibly could uh, together this week. If I miss, it, let, it, let me clarify this, guys. If I miss an email from you, I am I try to get back to everybody eventually. I think I answered 50 emails last night while I was while I was laying in bed before before I called it a night. <laughs> hey guys, just just send me 
Uh, you know, we were, it's funny that you I say am that. a hillbilly. I'm just from Boston. <laughs> this isn't hillbilly country, folks. No, it we, ain't, we, it ain't. Not a, is there a hill anywhere around? <laughs> oh, I can't stand people. <laughs> There's not a hill anywhere around here. No, there ain't any hills at all. <laughs> at all, at all, at all. Hey, if you're a moderator, use your wrench, okay? I, I thought we went through this. I, I'm a hillbilly too, man. I'm just from Boston. I'm actually from Lynn, Massachusetts, which is much worse than Boston. Yeah, we sh our, our chat room should uh, be pretty good over here. Yeah, a, 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 guys. And look, Narrow path. That's brilliant, huh? There you go. Goodbye. And look, guys, you know that it's it's nothing personal. It's just me, guys. I, I try to – I try. and then when I reply to somebody, some if y'all send me a really well thought out email and and, and – We're getting yelled – Believe it or not, we've had a busy day, dude. And setting up the live stream here so both of us are on the same camera was a little more work than we've ever done because we've never done it. We forgot to pray. Yeah. Um, oh, there you go. Hey, dear, dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing uh, our, our these, these brothers together. We've had and blessing our time together, putting uh, nature out in front of us today uh, in all its glory. We want to thank each and every one of our sponsors and subscribers. And may they continue to grow as we continue to grow in discernment, and love, mercy, and justice. And uh, let thy word not return unto thee void, but let it accomplish that which you please and prosper in everything that and everywhere that you send it. In your precious son's name, we pray. Hey, guys. There's that. Believe it or not, you, we don't have a studio here. We're not. You know what I mean? We do what we can. Well, how, how do you like my little studio? It's not. It's, it's, oh, it's good. A, I, like, I knew that was going to be there. There's a big whiteboard with. <laughs> We the people to live honestly, hurt no one. And give everyone his due. Psalm 12, 1, 2, 5, 3, Perfect. John 8, 13, Federal Reserve. And are you going to share that letter that you showed me? I'm not sh sharing the IRS uh, letter just yet. Uh, I have a few other things that I have to do. Here's the deal. He can't share it, but I'm going to say this. You can say it. You I ain't killing anybody. So if all of a sudden... Richie from Boston comes down. You know what I mean? Brandon's poking the bear really effectively, like no joke. Um, and you are going to, when you, when you square it away. When I square away, when, listen, so one of the things in each and each and every one of you know that when you email me about legal stuff, I tend to just um, answer, not vaguely, but force you to go do your own research. Cause you have to, right? And there's a reason for that guys. I cannot stand in in your place anywhere. So I, I send you I send you information for a reason, because the only way that you're ever going to stand your ground is knowing exactly what to say and when to say it, and know who you are. And and listen, folks, when you have the Holy Spirit and you know you're not a persona, when you know you're not any of these things, you are a living man uh, made in the image of the Almighty and that you're a part of creation, and that no man has, has uh, dominion over you unless you allow it, and that's why the consent happens. But either way, uh, things are transpiring, uh, folks, behind, behind the scenes. I've gotten a lot stronger in the Word. I've gotten a lot stronger in separating the beast jurisdiction from the Father's kingdom, and we're going to continue doing these things Um uh, but over time, if you continue to continue to seek the truth, you're going to get an answer. And when you stand on, on the ground of who you are, because that's what everything's about, they want you to believe you're not who you are. And if you agree to that, it's called tacit uh, a consent. And ta tacit is from a Latin word. It's called take, uh, and it means silence. And nothing is mo more opposed. Go ahead, go ahead. But I, it's funny. Someone just said the same thing. Go ahead. What I told you last night, the light just goes away on the East Coast from 8 o'clock to Really? Nine. At 8.30? Somebody just said that, and I can't find it. Now. Okay. Okay. Well, you, Go we, ahead. Finish what you're saying, But brother. we watched it till 9, didn't we? I was there. Yeah, it was yeah. there late, but this is way we, down the board, man. Yeah. So either way, with the IRS, uh, I am pushing back. And because I'm pushing back, uh, it, 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 it things <sighs> are starting to transpire in my way. But... It, I will never lead someone down a, a, a path to hurt someone. And that is what I'm always, um, uh, I'm weary of for those that, that email me and they're way ahead of the ball game. I give them a little bit more information, 
but I'm always going to push you to go do the research yourself. And it's not because uh, I want to lead you down a wrong road. It's because that's the only way that you're going to be empowered because knowledge is power, folks. It really is. And nothing, nothing is, is, is more uh, uh, abhorrent to the lie than being having the sword of truth. And when you whip out that sword of truth, the, the, all the lies dispel, and so does the darkness in the face of the light. That was a really short answer. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm, it's all good, brother. Check this out. If this is accurate and not sarcasm, he keeps vaping for the same reason I keep drinking. That's drastically different. No. Vaping doesn't make me out of my mind or make me fall asleep or make me forget things. Or make me drive my car drunk or make me completely forget everything and I couldn't help it because I was drunk. It's it's entirely different. This makes me what how would you how would you describe me to people? What did you think you I was gonna be like when you met me? And what am I really? Well uh, and be totally honest. Well, it after so many conversations, I kind of figured you were gonna be the same way. Uh, and the, fig the fact that we've done. But I will tell you this, folks. Richie is Richie from Boston, and it's been a pleasure. I was worried about him uh, not – well, let, let, me, let me do this. I had stereotyped Richie being a city boy, uh, and I it was like watching the kid in the candy store today as we go through the bayous and we're whipping around. I love this. And, and he's, he's got his little cameras out, and he's like, slow down, slow down, slow down. It was awesome uh, to see somebody who really enjoys uh, nature like that and, and out out in nature. It was a blessing. It, it gave me joy and made me. We stayed out there all day. If you can't tell, our faces are plum red, uh, and that's because plumred.com backslash work. <laughs> that's because we've been riding a boat at forty miles per hour and the sun beating down on us all day. Uh, but it, it, it Richie's Richie, and I, I'm thankful for that. It's been a great day. But when I tell people that I'm not really very friendly in real life, well, you're well. You, you've got your mood swings. You do have so mood swings. I'm a bitch. Bro. You are, you do have mood swings. I uh, will well, say what that. happens when I get moody is I just get quiet. Yeah, that's it. That's it. He, he does have his mood swings. But hey, l listen, guys, and th and this goes this goes uh, for this is going to translate into uh, Sunday's topic, right? The battle always starts within, and then we work without. And everybody's focused on without instead of always fixing what's within. And the the entire purpose of the study group and what we do on, on my channel is if we are ever to fix the outside, we have to be able to fix within. And we all have got, we've all, when none of us live in a glass house. No. None no. of us. No, plum's a good word because it's, it's plum. Yeah. It's plum. It's straight up and down. It's the same word we use, just different, differently spoken i guess i'm gonna hang out for the uh sunday class i never um uh, i don't know let's holy up you uh we're gonna have it i'll i'll put it together sunday morning uh we'll go do a little bit more fishing tomorrow and uh yeah we're gonna get some good video i'm making a good video on that it's gonna be up on you're gonna see brandon in his real life this dude's got skills <laughs> i love how people talk shit and they call people hillbillies well i've met every place i go in my vehicle i meet hillbillies country folk this here's the deal city folks i was telling you this on the boat and i know this from firsthand experience city folks gauge their success on how much how many people they pay to do things for them well when the economy completely dissolves and the dollar becomes what it is nothing you don't know how to do anything anymore these dudes know how to take care of themselves that's why i go there you know what i mean it keeps your skills sharp if I jumped out of that boat, I probably would have caught that gator. But I don't know if we get in trouble. You get in trouble for that? Well, yeah, it's not gator season, but uh, we we uh, let's let's. I love that stuff. I don't know what the deal is. I was like, we, I, you know, because I'm from Boston. Hey, look at that! Sure, you're not allowed to look at that from nine o'clock till seven fifteen. It's past sundown. You, do you have a permit to be here? Yeah. And I'm like, Randy, can we walk in those woods? There's a blue. You know, it's it's phenomenal here. I love. I have tell, been, them, tell them about the neighbor. That when you're sitting in the yard, uh, Daryl. What? Oh yeah. So I roll in here. All right. He lives just like everybody else. You know, I go meet Dana Ashley. Oh, she lives in L.A. I've never been to L.A. She lives on top of a five thousand foot mountain in the middle of L.A. that I didn't even know existed, and I'm just going straight up, straight up, like going to see Cinderella at the top of a castle. At any rate, I go to meet Mike from Last Line of Defense. 
He lives in Colorado at the top of a 13,000 foot mountain. Well, Brandon lives down in on the bayou. The bayou's in the backyard. My GPS is like, dude, it's right there. And I'm like, it's a metal gate. Stop. You know, I, I'm freaking out at the GPS who isn't real. <laughs> Shut up, lady. I can't turn. There's a gate right here. What are you talking about? Well, I finally figured out how to get here. And I said, I took a picture. I said, is this your house? He said, yes. He said, if you can't fit the truck in the garage, pull around the side. Well, I pulled around the side. And instantly, like a target on a shooting range, his neighbor pops up. Boing. <laughs> hey. Who are you? Do you know Brandon? And I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is good, like neighborhood watch, but he shouldn't have gave me, he already gave me information. Now I know the dude that lives here, his name is Brandon, but I said, yeah. And he just checked me out and it was cool because they've got community here like we used to in Boston. So it's funny that city people, oh, those hillbill people that know how to do things that have community, that look out for each other. The neighbors brought over a big bag of fish. Yeah. Some little kid. Hey, Brandon, my dad sent this, sent this over to you. I'm talking to the neighbors and I'm thinking to myself, Brandon's not here yet. So I'm just hanging out in his yard and I'm like, this is awesome. There's a dock and there's a bayou and his house is badass. And he's got a huge live oak, a live oak. They look like storybook. It was bad. I was stoked. Pull the truck in, pop the top. And I'm thinking to myself, look at all these trees. I wonder if there's any owls. This is how my life works. Now, a lot of you, not all of you, because it's not even possible, but a lot of you have met me. I've met about, right, Craig? I've met about 1,500 to 2,000 subscribers over the last seven, eight years. I forget what the point of that was. Totally. Mm, you do that a lot. I do that a lot. It sucks. Um, oh, if you've met me, you've seen this happen. So I'm looking at all the trees and I start Googling owls that are common in the southeastern United States. As I hit enter on my cell phone, an owl during the day calls and it goes, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? That's I know it sounds stupid, but that's what it does. That's a barred owl. So I go back over to the pop-up target neighbor. Hey, guys, I'm Daryl. I want a Coke. Thank you. I appreciate it, but I don't drink soda. At any rate, I said, uh, you don't have a lot of owls down here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're here all the time. The dude knew where the owls were. Like, they used to be in this tree. And then they moved over to this one. And then they moved. And I'm sitting there going, the people in the neighborhood not only know their neighbors, but they know where the owl, like, they know the wildlife. They're familiar. Where I live, if an owl's outside somebody's window, they call the owl guy who comes there and drowns the owl or shoots the owl or sets the owl on fire or he releases a big thing of bees that kill the owl or whatever because that's what they do in the city oh my god there's a raccoon in the yard call the police down here they're like yeah the owl's right down the street and turns out he was so that was yeah, pretty bad that was pretty cool and, and, and that's right. before we even got here because it was about two hours i was still working yep so i, I hadn't made it here yet but it's uh is my like, hair gray right there it looks like it it's sure is it it looks, it looks, maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. <laughs> that looks great. It looks like uh, Richie from Boston frosts his hair. Because in the summer, my hair turns wicked blonde right there. I don't even wash my face, but I'm frosting my hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At any rate. So, what do we got here? Right? Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's real. I don't think I really have a. Uh, no, I think it's the lighting. I think it's the uh, the fluorescent lighting hitting the fluorescent lighting. It's true. That's what they say. It's called a barred owl. Yeah. And they got tons of owls down here, so that's awesome. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? See, <laughs> that's you guys like. know. You guys know. Somebody just said it. Gray Mohawk. No, I wouldn't do that. Yep. Yep. See, I don't say that, man. It's cool. I'm not. I'm. I don't. I would feel so fake saying Shabbat Shalom. You know what I mean? Like, because I don't actually. Peace. That's it. Yeah. Peace, my friends. And, and of course, yeah. that goes, it gets back into the language, right? Words have power and things of that nature. Uh, I just have an issue. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think there's a language that I've studied yet that I don't have an issue with, to be honest. <laughs> uh, of course, uh, that, that's, that's how they control us, is um, by controlling our words. But yes, peace, man, peace. Got you. Shabbat would be the seventh day rest, and Shalom would be peace. 
All right. All right, you guys got any questions while we're right here? And believe it or not, Brandon is as nice as he seems in real life. So I don't know about all that. Really? <laughs> Second worst voice after Alex. The globalist. The globalist to cover it. I'm going to get you, so buy my erection pills so that you'll feel better about yourself afterwards. They took me off of YouTube. Turns out he's back. Shocking. I'm totally shocking. So, there's that. Well, that's, that's, uh, oh, Br- Brandon, do you have a Septuagint? This woman's asked like three times. I, I have a, a, the download of the Septuagint. Uh, I have the 1560 Geneva. I have the 1611 uh, uh, KJV. And then I've got a few modern translations uh, that are Textus Receptus too, uh, and then I have a couple that's not Textus Receptus. Um, but listen, folks, there will be a famine for the Word in in, in the latter days. You've got to let the Holy Spirit, the, the Spirit of Life, uh, lead you to truth, and quit uh, putting the, the theology of men in your mind. But yeah, I do look into the Septuagint. Are you going to vomit on me? No, the we issue, had steak. The issue, the issue I have with Greek, the Greek language too, is because the Greeks themselves uh, were deeply, deeply into the occult, just like uh, the, the words of Latin. Uh, well, I, I grilled. Uh, <laughs> I do have to tell you that I was going to cook for uh, Richie a few times this weekend. Oh, dude, but, dude! <laughs> but the first thing I gave him to eat, oh. he's sweating buck shots, and he's like, "Is this?" Hot? I'm, I'm like, I'm "No." From Lynn, Massachusetts. <laughs> I'm single. I cook for me. I cook for me. So I eat oatmeal. I eat oranges. I eat hard boiled eggs. I don't actually eat very much at all. But what I do eat is bland. I've never used sea, like seasoned salt on a chicken breast, maybe, but not salt, pepper, none of that stuff. Cajun boy comes over here with, what is this thing? It's an armadillo egg. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know what that even means. And he's like, it's this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, all right. I take a bite of it. And I went, is this hot? And he's like, a little bit, just a touch. And I'm like, dude, the back of my head is sweating right now. And it got exponentially <laughs> worse. And he's like, and he was doing this. <laughs> and I'm like, brother, I went to the doctor when I was 14 because I had heartburn. And I think that was probably the last time I went to the doctor when blood wasn't coming out of me uncontrollably in a tampon or something wouldn't stop it. You know, those times, fellas, when somebody puts a hot one through you. Yeah. I said, I've got heartburn all the time. It took me a year to figure it out. The doctor said, well, what we're going to have to do is do an upper GI. And I'm like, all right, I don't know, GI? Or, I don't know what that even means. We're going to take this tube and we're going to jam it up your beep. And I went, I'm all set. I'll have, I'll just carry Tums the rest of my life. I don't have any clue how my heart burning means you have to stick a tube up my, so. <laughs> what is it, like 38 years later? Yeah. He's I don't like- need hot stuff because I get heartburn. It sucks. So. Uh, after so that, I, that, I was like, well, that changes everything. I guess we'll just grill steak. Cause I was going to make a, uh, a court bouillon, which is a cubion. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a spaghetti a, and fish. Well, no, no, it's actually a red, uh, gumbo and fish. Uh, so, but with that, I use cayenne pepper and everything else. And, uh, uh, he actually had sweat bullets coming off of him, so there's no point in torturing him anymore. <laughs> no, that was horrible. So there's that. Uh, yep, yep. The star planet, did you just next to the moon? Uh, Jerome, I, if that's your name, it, watch, watch the, the video from the beginning. Yeah, watch from the beginning, Jerome. We've been looking at it for two days. And it's strange because... We're talking about it last night. It's like, well, what do you think? Well, it could be cymatics. They could be using lasers of some sort that are exciting the atmosphere, causing this. But then we put the camera on it. It's like, that doesn't make sense. No. And somebody's already, some some woman said it in the chat already. It looks like we're looking, you look through a microscope and you see little things. You look through a telescope, you see macro things, macro, micro. Well, this still looks like you're looking at a cell. I mean, it right. looks exactly like a it cell, does, does. except... You can see a frequency moving over it. Boom, boom. And then when it's zoomed out. And it's got the nucleus. It's just it's, sitting there going boom, boom. It's, it's 
it, it's it, it looks like it's 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 a line. It really does. It looks like at all times. And of course, if you look at it different, it pulses. And when that pulse is happening, the different rays of light are coming off at different angles. So, uh, you know, it's 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 something to keep an eye on. I know it's 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 uh, it's 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 definitely it doesn't operate as normal. And last night it kept as the moon moved, this thing kept the exact distance from the moon. It's here in Australia as well. Yeah. So the- I got dudes from Croatia, Russia. Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, everybody sending it. Somebody said, is it Venus? Well, wandering stars, whatever they are, move in a pattern. They're not, if it was a, I know, I know, I'm doing that because I'm trying to represent a circle. Is that okay? Is that not a secret Illuminati sign? A wandering star, if that's what it was, whatever they are, when they do show up, they show up at a different spot every night and it's quick. It's right. a quick progression. This thing's been sitting in the same spot for months, apparently everywhere, including Australia and Croatia, Louisiana, Boston, Indiana, California. It's everywhere. And I don't know what it is, man. I just don't know what it is. So it came out of nowhere. And the suddenly, Nagamati text? Say again? Uh, somebody's asking about the Nagamati. Have yeah, uh, at it. Not, I mean. Expl- you know what? You know what? Here's this. We never got to this. We did a live stream before. And we were supposed to, Brandon. When I say we, I have a mouse in my pocket. Brandon was supposed to explain why the Nibiru. Yeah. What's his name? What's the jerk off's name? The guy that the the guy that decoded it all. He's the one that came up with Nibiru. Oh, um, the, I can't think of it. I uh, can't remember. Zachariah. Zachariah Sitchin. Sitchin. Zachariah Sitchin. In the scrolls, what were they? Uh, that was that was the the um, Sumerian text. The, tell them why the Sumerian text. The Sumerian text have absolutely nothing in them uh, about fire ships or Nibiru, or or even the name. The word Anunnaki is not in there uh, in all the texts. I think we started a, a, a deal on that. Uh, we'll have to actually finish that and go through all the text. You can, you can do, you can go to Michael uh, Heiser, uh, Z- uh, stitching is wrong.com. Stitching is wrong.com. It's stitching. Zachariah. Stitching, stitching is stitching. wrong. I'll pull it up. Stitching is wrong.com. And you can learn to read the Sumerian text uh, yourself. Uh, and uh, you can do that. And, and once you learn how to do that, you will find, that's it right there. And the, you can go to Sumerian text and you can. And oh, you, we did go through some of this. We did. Because I keep getting emails saying you guys started talking about it, but never finished it. Well, and I'm like, I was probably explaining it. And Brandon just interrupted me like he always does. Well, he forgets everything. As he's talking, it's like he's crazy. <laughs> can you see well, the sky? Yeah. Can you see the backward seven right there? Yeah. That's what happens when they smash your head open with items. And the doctor says, we're going to try to glue you back together, kid. But you probably never be able to finish a sentence. Well, he yeah. was wrong. Well, that doctor didn't. You see what I just did there? Yeah, no, I didn't finish the sentence. It's pretty funny, right? Yeah. At any rate, <laughs> that, that uh, uh, so anytime a researcher tries to give you an answer but doesn't allow you to go prove it for yourself, you should be wary of that researcher. Um, but here with, with Michael Heiser, he teaches you how to uh, go read the Sumerian text for yourself and how to search the Sumerian text for yourself. And I, I, of course, I went and did that. I spent my time on, on uh, uh, the website, not just here, but it takes you to the, uh, I can't remember the college that, that has all the Sumerian text. Oh, we showed that. We showed yeah, that. I know we showed it. It's, it's right here under Sumerian uh, I text. just put the link in the chat. Check that out for yourselves. Someone that keeps saying that that item next to the moon is a spaceship, it isn't. You're in the wrong chat. There's plenty of chats you can go to and talk about make-believe things like NASA, spaceship, going to the moon things that aren't real whatsoever at all and are really easy to figure out. But a spaceship ain't one of them. Just saying. Here, let me show you real quick how it ain't a spaceship. Spaceships don't look like a cell, first of all. And they don't sit in the same spot every single night so it can be detected by anybody with any type of optics and they can watch it and go on live streams and show it to the entire world and try to figure out what it is. But it ain't a spaceship. Because it's awfully pulsating for a spaceship. 
Everything that's up there is alive. Before I decided for myself without watching videos that the earth was completely flat and that all the years I had followed NASA, I was completely wrong and they were lying. That was a tough one to swallow. That was like five years ago now. That ain't a spaceship. It's in the same spot every single night to boot. So you can put binoculars, use astronaut astronomical binoculars. You can take a picture of this thing with a cell phone, but it's a star, a distant sun, it's a moon, it's a it's a small moon. So what does that mean? Who built the caves? What caves? Who built the underground? Where are you talking? Yeah, I have no earthly eye. That's not enough information. There. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of caves and temples that are built. I mean, the temples that they built in India where they just started with the ground flat and removed all the rocks and left the temple. That's insanity. Hey, Razor Queen, I always, every time I see Ray, uh, you, Razor Queen, I want to I want to give you a shout out and thank you. That was who originally sent you my channel, by the way. Razor Queen. It sure was. Plasma has DNA, indeed. It sure was. It was Razor Queen. Thank you, Razor. Brandon. I'll never forget you. She followed me on Twitter and then followed me to YouTube. And uh, she found me on Twitter, though. That was a friend. That's a good friend. It, well, it might be plasma. It could be. Like I said, we were thinking. I mean, look at it. You can see the frequencies moving across the face of it right now. Watch this. Check this out. Let me get this out of the way. Sorry. You can see that is cymatics right there. See the frequencies moving across the face and then see the little cutout down here at the bottom. That's a trip. And that little cutout comes and goes and it doesn't emulate light or radiate light. I shouldn't say emulate. That's crazy. That's it. And then suddenly down here, well, your camera's out of focus. The camera's focused. That's what's in there. And sometimes this little eye in the middle moves and it getting smaller and larger. That's all on its own accord. You saw me. No, not no. touching the camera. No, it, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, uh, I called it the dancing light. Cause that's what exactly what it does. It, Watch it, that show up. I'm listening. It blows up, gets small. It twinkles. It, 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 it's always moving. It's always got some action to it. Uh, and it, 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 and it's seven sided. It's that's an right. odd number. Yeah. And seven, you know, you can get into seven as the number of completion, but there's an occult side to the number seven to right. Uh, but uh, of course, it's set, one seven is one third of the full seven seven seven. Uh, two sevens is two uh, two thirds of the full seven seven sevens. So with the numbers in the gematria, they can always ma uh, make it fit their their realm. But uh, there's something to this this deal here. It's it's amazing to watch. It's amazing to watch the. Uh, it's exactly like looking under a microscope. It is. It's just like looking under a microscope. Look at that happen. Yeah. There it is, right there. Right there, the bottom right here at like 5 like, o'clock. Like, like the cell was punctured. Almost. It looks like it's taking an IV needle. Yeah. That's that what, that's is what... crazy. All right. But either way, it's something that we've been looking at for the last two days with skies that can see it. And you guys have been looking at it for months with us. You know what I'm saying? It's it's. I just find it strange that NASA comes out with an announcement of a tiny thing. Because this would look like... A tiny moon when it's next to the moon. So right. Yeah, we thought of that, Spider. We thought of that. That and you know, but it's just no way that could happen. Because everyone's seeing everybody's it. Everybody's seeing world it. You, you, time. You'd have to have the the frequency device on every mountain across the world for everybody to see it at the same time in the same spot. Everybody's chasing it. Uh that's just <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Is, it's true, Roman it, Noodle. You know what's funny, Roman Noodle? That's a funny name. It's a funny thumbnail. You're a funny guy. Right? Why do <laughs> they can't? Why did the light just go down? I don't know. Something's going wrong. Oh, laptop's not plugged in. Okay, there we go. Um, it does look like the egg from a woman, and when that little thing happens, it looks like they're injecting it. Like it's yeah, it looks like it's oh, being injected. Dude. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Are they it literally looks like it's being it, it looks like the, it looks like the cells being broken there oh i'm gonna i'm gonna post this video up raw and you guys can have at it take it burn it whatever it's not the best one but at least you'll have it can i write to you i don't know what that means it does look like right claire 
Yeah. Hey, Claire. Hello, Clarice. Well, hello, Clarice. <laughs> um, Claire's good people too. That's that, you know. And I, I just want to, while I'm thinking about it, uh, you know, guys, I'm, th- I'm so thankful for y'all support. I'm so thankful uh, for the channel. I'm so, I'm so thankful for everything. Um, I just want y'all to know that, guys. It's getting harder for me to keep up uh, with. I think the last video had 800 and something comments. I mean. Guys, I can't go through 800. No, no, you got to, me and James Corbett were talking about that. You can only, it's impossible. You never, you can't, you can't. You need a butler and then a butler's helper, whatever that's called, a better butler or whatever. I don't know. At any rate. All right, guys. Richie from Boston. Richie from the Bayou. The Big (laughs) Sib. Hit that thumbs up or don't. This video right here, I'll post it up so you guys can look at it. And feel free to leave the comments because who knows? That's what it looks like right there. Hey, guys. That th- hit, my, hit, hit me up. Hit the thumbs up on my side, too. I guess that could help or it might not help. But Well, let's see. I mean, let, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right, guys. Richie from Boston. Brandon, good to go? Can I do my wave over uh, there? Excuse I me. I Sorry. I'm such a there pig. All right, guys. Hey, much love. Butler. We'll see y'all. So we'll see everybody at study on Sunday. Know that I love you all. All right, guys. We are out. You did it. Later. You did all right, guys. <laughs>